right. We're all set. So first of all, uh, thanks again for making time on this Friday. Really appreciate it. Uh, I really wanted to, yeah, I really wanted to get to know you. Uh, so you have to introduce yourself for anyone who may just be seeing your face for the first time. Yeah, so I'm Durante Scott. I go by Rocket. Everyone calls me Rocket. Uh, I have a clothing line, clothing line called RZN, and uh, I do a lot of custom design. Wow. So how did you get the nickname Rocket? Uh, so the name Rocket came from um, high school, actually. Uh, my last year of high school, back in um, 2012, I graduated. And uh, I went to this school for the first time. And um, nobody really knew my name. And that's when I really started uh, doing the, um, I had this Rocket logo that I did for my um, my uniform shirts because my school had to wear uniforms. Oh. But we could have like little uh, logos when I was shirts, like polo logos, lacoste logos. So I had a, 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 a Rocket logo that I had earned on my own, all of my uniform shirts. And around the school, everybody kept asking me about the, the shirts. And uh, I gave some of my friends some, so I, I gave some of my friends some shirts. Every, the whole school was just on, and it was like, where do you get the shirts from? And it was oh, like the wow. Rocket Boy, the Rocket Boy, the Rocket Boy. So that's how the name came about. And I just ran with the name Rocket. I love that story. That's great. That shows that you were creative and entrepreneurial from the start. That's great. Yeah. And so which high school? Because everybody in the DMV listening, they're going to be like, uh, which high school? It was Wise. I went to Wise. I graduated from Wise. Nice. Uh, and what county is that in? Uh, PG County, Dr. Okay. Henry A.Y. Yep, Pretty Girl County. Mm-hmm. Love it. Uh, so tell me a little bit just about how this passion for designing came about. I mean, beyond just in school and wearing uniforms, I know wearing uniforms can definitely push your creative creativity because you you feel like, uh, God, every day you're wearing the same thing day in and day out, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So well, my really, the inspiration really came from um my older brother. He actually started the clothing line back in 2003. He's four years older than me, so he started the clothing line back when I was in high school. I never really thought about like uh, actually making clothes or like designing clothes. I just liked the clothes. I had the the newest clothes, the flash clothes, everything that came out. So I was on like the hypes and all that. But I never really thought about like making clothes. My brother was into like um hand painting shirts. And uh, from like high school, when I graduated high school, I know I didn't really want to like go to college and I didn't want to um, like have like, a, uh, I didn't want to work for anybody. So I had to figure out what I wanted to do. And like I said, back in my last year in um, high school, the clothes actually really like became a thing. So when I got out of high school, I just took it full fledged. Like what's next? I started like, teaching myself how to sew and by that time, my brother had actually like took took some time off of the clothing line, so it kind of like fell apart. So I just picked it up, picked up where he left off at, and I've been sewing. I've been doing clothes ever since. Wow! So, what's your biggest challenge right now? My biggest challenge would probably be actually like designing and making women garments. <laughs> That's my biggest challenge right now. I'll be your practice. <laughs> <laughs> you can practice. I'm kidding. But that's awesome. Uh, you know, what I've noticed about what you do is that you are basically repurposing a lot of, uh, of, of designer items that mm-hmm. many a lot of people wouldn't think to use again, like the bags, mm-hmm. the dust bags and things like that. And you're making it into something that people want to wear. So, yeah. and that has been really doing well for you on social because it pops up in my feed and I yeah. wasn't even following you. So um, what has that been like to see how your work has taken off on social media? This has been amazing, man. I mean, I, the, the, the crazy thing about it was like, um, I kind of like blew up on TikTok. And TikTok uh-huh. was kind of like my um, my 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 video dump where I was just dumping my video or making my videos for Instagram. And on TikTok, my videos end up going viral, like super viral, get up, get um, five million views, four million wow. views. Yeah. And ever since then, my Instagram just started taking off and I started getting like interviews from everybody. Like I just did a people's interview. Celebrities hitting me up. I'm having Fed Joe, Fabulous. Jim Jones, so many celebrities hit me up. It's been really amazing. Oh, I love it. 
And I love the fact that you got a message from Dapper Dan. Yeah, Dapper Dapper that was Dan. The, that was the all time like <laughs> greatest message I could get ever from anyone. <laughs> it's like every, my, and if no one's familiar, if they're listening, uh, Dapper Dan did something similar where in hip hop he was repurposing items and making designer items that you can't find anywhere else. Just yeah, like what we're seeing. Made yeah. This lane. Yeah, we kind of yeah. made this late. And mm-hmm. uh, now, you know, there there's no one like Dapper Dan, really. But uh, mm-hmm. Durante, I think you are coming pretty close to, to yeah. capturing yeah. the essence of what he was doing. Mm-hmm. Uh, so what was that like to, to hear from him? And what did he say? Oh, man, like to hear from Dapper the, the, the crazy part about it was, like, my dad, that was actually a message to my dad. My dad was sending that, but I didn't even know. My dad was just sending uh, Dapper Dan all of my videos, all of my videos. My dad know how much I love Dapper Dan. He was just so sending them all of my videos. All of my, I didn't even know. And then um, I think maybe like a couple, a week ago, he sent me a, a screenshot. And he was like, Dapper Dan said he loves your work. And I was like, dang, that's like crazy. That was like super crazy. I was super excited. And it was a surprise. I didn't even know he was sending all of my videos. But to know that Dapper Dan actually seen my videos and actually liked my work, man. I is I don't I'm lost for words. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> and what did he say? Uh, oh, he was just like um, basically telling me like uh, he loved my work and I'm I'm up next. Like I'm basically the next the next one up. <laughs> I love it. That's a beautiful feeling, and I love that your dad supports you too. That's always big to have family support. Um, so where do you see yourself going with this next? You know, now that you're seeing all this popularity. Yeah, so uh, I actually, I actually been rebranding. Me and my brother, we've been rebranding our um the RZN brand. So right now, I'm just um doing the uh, the custom work, you know, bringing the uh, the viewers and all the fans to to my page. So when I do drop this new line that I have coming out, RZN by Mer- I mean merch by RZN, we got coming out in a couple of months, you know. So that's what when when we drop that, we're gonna see what happens from there. Yeah, but in the meantime, but that's that's our main focus, the Mm -hmm. the brand. You know, this was just something I actually did for fun. You know, I don't really think like um, I can't. You know, with the legal parts and everything, I can't really like go big with it or anything. So, you know, it's just kind of like art right now. Wow, but uh, with in terms of the celebrities reaching out to you, that's that's got a good feeling. um, yeah, yeah, definitely. And um, I actually get them in pieces. Like, I donate them pieces. I can't sell it to them or anything, but I donate them pieces. So to, to have them in my pieces is, is amazing. Wow. they, they, they A donation. Yeah. Wow. That's pretty cool, though. At least you get to say, you know, so-and-so wore my work. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Impressive. What, what do you, well, are you still in uh, Prince George's County or where are you based? Uh, yeah, well, I'm in D.C. I have a shop in D.C. My shop is in D.C., but I'm, I'm PG D.C., Right Wait. So, can people visit your shop in DC? Uh, no, it's not. It's not. Uh, it's just a warehouse. Where gotcha. I work gotcha. Yeah. Well, let's uh, speak it into existence. One day, you'll have a shop yeah, in DC storefront. We're pushing, we're pushing for the end of this year. So, good. Hopefully. Yeah, it would be nice for people to visit. Uh, well, what message do you have to for young people who may be watching this from the DMV area that are interested in fashion? Uh, a lot of people think about New York when they think about uh, a fashion capital of the world. Yeah. Uh, w- what message do you have for them if they're trying to create a lane here? Um, I say just, just, I, I'm the type of person that I like to stay here. Like, you know, like when people, like you said, when people think of fashion, they think of New York as the fashion nation of uh, America or whatever, but. I feel like we have our own lane here, and as as the youth here, I feel like instead of like DC likes to pick up a lot of a lot of um fashion and everything from everyone else, and we kind of like drop our own culture, DC culture or DMV culture. I feel like we should keep our DMV culture. Just don't don't give up on a DMV culture. Like don't um try to say what's popping somewhere else and try that just because it's popping somewhere else. Keep doing what you're doing. That's what I did. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. And your brother, how old are you guys? Uh, well, I'm 27. My brother is 31. Nice. And so uh, he started at first and you are kind of just carrying on this tradition. What, what do you guys see in terms of the duo, uh, the future of the duo? 
Well, my brother is actually the artist. He actually kind of, if you see this, you can see this art piece right here. My brother Beautiful. actually made this. Yeah, my Beautiful. brother made this art piece. So with the brand, he like comes up with the, um. he do everything with the business. But like on the art side, when we, we have like these characters we come up with, he do all the drawing and everything when it comes down to the um, the web design and every day. So, and he's, he played a big part in designing too. Mm-hmm. Well, so what does a typical day look like for you right now? Uh, so you obviously are heavy on social because it's a huge part of your fan base right now. Uh, mm-hmm. But what do you, what does a typical day look like for you? Well, I wake up in the morning, go to the workshop, and I have tons of orders. Like I said, a lot of a lot of people from the um, from my videos going viral and they went back to the RZN page. I'm getting orders from the RZN page, so I got tons of orders. I'm actually backed up for the next two months right now. So I have a lot of orders I got to get done. <laughs> That's why I couldn't even get this interview done in time. You know, <laughs> I'm just doing so much. All good. It's happening so fast. It's hap- the, the, yeah, the rise to, to fame is, is one that can happen really fast. Uh, what do you see in terms of the future of your design? Who do you want to cater to most? Uh, women, men? Uh, maybe uh, some kids wear. It's more so men's wear, but it can be worn by women, but mm-hmm. more so men's wear. Um, I really can't even tell you because I really want to get into women's wear, like mm-hmm. in the in the near future. So, I'm uh, hopefully I get into like some real designing dresses and you know wedding dresses. That's what I really want to get into. So, yeah. Hopefully, I can't get into women's wear really, really soon. Nice. And so, what was the inspiration for just wanting to randomly, um, not random, but wanting to put together those pieces using the designer goods? Uh, Dapper Dan. It, it's crazy. It came about because um, I had a, uh, I had some dust bags I had accumulated from uh, Louis Vuitton that just been sitting around my house for ages. So I was just like a. Uh, what if I could come up with a piece with these dust bags? And I just thought about a piece to cut. It was really, it really was random because <laughs> they were just sitting around in my house for my workshop. And I'm just like, maybe I could take them apart and put them together. And once I did that, uh, you know, in the, in the, in the, in the city, it kind of went big and everybody in the city was hitting me up, was giving me like their, their dust bags and stuff. So I was doing dust bags for them, dust bag jackets or whatever type of garment they want. I was doing dust bags. And then my, I had a guy who hit me up and he had a, a a Louis Vuitton shawl, mm. the big, big shawl. He had one of those, you know, those cost like seven fifty, and he was asking me to cut it up. I was like, you want me to cut it up? He wow. was like, yeah, I want you to make something out of it. Like you be doing with the dust bags. And I was just like, uh, all right, I got you. And, uh, from there, I made a, a puffer. And from that puffer, it just went crazy. And this all happened in like the last three months, since like December. And the puffer mm. just like crazy. Like on my that new page I have, I only had like 1,900 followers just three months ago. Wow. Yeah. And you've gotten that up there. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned the legal side. I know that's a challenge. Uh, and yeah. Dapper Dan also uh, faced that challenge. And eventually he started working with those brands. Yeah. So mm-hmm. maybe that's in your future, too. We'll see. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I definitely <laughs> love to uh, put out a collection or a piece under someone like Gucci or Louis Vuitton. That'd be real dope. From your lips to God's ears. So we'll see what happens. That's great. Uh, so in terms of just your inspiration, where are you drawing from to get the ideas for how you want to use these items? Uh, I really can't even tell you. It's really random. I, I, I feel like I could use anything to make a garment, like literally anything. So I just come up, I just see... If it's enough of, of fabric I could use to make a garment, I use it. It's just wow. really random. Uh, how long have you been sewing? Uh, I've been sewing since 2012, since I graduated. So for 10 years now. Wow. That's self-taught. You, yeah, self-taught. Very good. Very, very good. Um, I would not know what to do with half of those pieces. So <laughs> it's not just random. You clearly are an artist in some way. Um, and that's so, so great. Uh, what, what, what's one fun fact about you that nobody would know? A fun fact? Uh, I'm a loner. I like to be alone <laughs> a lot. <laughs> I like to be alone a lot. I don't really like much people around, especially when I'm in the workshop. 
I, I, I understand that. Um, so where are you getting your inspiration? Like the, the, it's definitely art. So there has yeah, to be true. something there that's triggering how you're able to create these I mean, magical. I feel like, you know, it, it was the way I was, I was brought up kind of, you know, I was always like in the nicest clothes from my dad buying me the nicest clothes to my brother watching him buying the nicest clothes and I'm buying the exact clothes and he getting mad at me. So it was just kind of like a, a, I don't know, a style thing. It's just kind of like what I like, what I would like to wear, you know, mm -hmm. and I just put it out and everyone else likes it too. So that's nice. kind of like what it is, just what I, what I like to wear. And that's where the inspiration comes from. Like I'll see something and be like, oh, maybe if you could change it a little way like this and things like that. And I feel like it's just my style. I'm putting out my style at this point. I love it. Um, what's your favorite kind of music? Uh, hip hop. Hip hop, obviously. Mm -hmm. Dapper Dan <laughs> inspiration. Hip -hop. hip hop, love it. Uh, what's re what's your favorite uh, part of the DMV? My favorite part of the DMV would probably be right now U Street. U Street, ew. What? U Street. You don't like U Street? I'm um evolving from U Street. Yeah, okay. U Street is very for me. Yeah. I've been, I've done U Street for so long. It's like okay, I'm so bored. But yeah. uh, I don't know. Everyone still loves U Street. It is a classic. It's coming I back. It, mm. it definitely changed during the pandemic. I think that's yeah, why. For me, it was change. like eh, something happened where all the businesses went away. But okay, all right. Mm. Uh, and do you like Go Go? Love go go. I'm you a go -go love head. go go. Okay, because I was like, head. why did you say that first? You know, because, you know, it's, it's different in the DMV nowadays. It's not the go go's not the same. I'm like a super go go head whiz though. And like in high school, the go go lead mics, like they was my superheroes. Those was my celebrities. I looked. I didn't listen to nobody but Little Wayne and Go Go. That's all it was, and a little bit Kanye West. But other than that, it was just go go. But then go go changed. Even if you look at the DMV now, it's not really that many go go bands. Like I used to be in the go go band. I really? A, yeah, you can't even find a go go band, like a random go go band. It's only the main, like four or five go go bands that've been here forever. Everybody raps now. It's just different. Just go go's different. not the same. But go go is definitely like top two. <laughs> top, top two favorite movie. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Well, I'm glad we got some fun facts about you in there. Uh, anything else people can know should know about you? Uh, how can they support you? Uh well, be on the lookout for the new the new line we got coming out. RZN merch by RZN coming soon. I think we're looking pushing it for um in the next two months. It's definitely summertime somewhere. We don't really have the dates, but you could be on the lookout for that. Mm, wonderful. And what kind of uh, pieces can they look out for? Shirts. Sweats. Yeah, those, that, that 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 brand is more so like a a streetwear brand, more so like a a bape, a supreme type of thing. It's kind of like stepping aside to the what I'm doing with the luxury brand. It's kind of like a, a streetwear brand, you know, the skateboard, the t-shirts, hoodie. This is actually a piece I got on now. This is a hoodie. A I love hoodie. it. We got you know, logo, mm -hmm. logo shirts, logo hoodies. Very good. It's like a lifestyle brand. Mm -hmm. Lifestyle brand. And anything that uh, anyone listening from the fashion community uh, should know for how to reach you, if they want to support you, uh, tell them what you're interested in. Just, just go ahead. Uh, I mean, I don't know really, if you want to support me, you get, I don't know. I just know we got the merch coming out soon. <laughs> I don't know we're, we're, we're ready to you want to work now. with a, eventually you want to work with a designer brand. So we're putting that out there and that is one of your goals. So love yeah, it. Yeah. Thanks for talking to us. We really appreciate it. Uh, plug yourself, give us your social media, even though everyone is probably seeing it on their feeds in the DMV somehow uh, through the algorithm, but tell us how people can find you. Okay. You can find me on Instagram, RZN Rocket underscore, or on TikTok, RZN Rocket. And um, just made a YouTube, YouTube coming out soon, RZN yes. Design Group. Nice. Uh, yeah, that's it right now. Design Group, that's wonderful. <laughs> what are you hoping to share there? So with the RZN De Design Group, we're looking forward to kind of like bringing out the designers in the um, DMV who don't really have a... a 
because I know a lot of great designers who don't, no one knows, you know, and I feel like um, with the Arzian Design Group, we could actually like bring designers that have their own brand onto the design group to design a, a piece or two or whatever, to put their name behind the piece so we can put that out and, uh, you know, give them a name so they can start their brand so everyone could look at them being as though we have a lot of eyes on us right now. So I feel like the Arzian Design Group would uh, be a lot of help to the designers in the DMV. Look at you trying to help the DMV fashion community. I love it. Yeah. I hope that you're featured in the upcoming DMV uh, Fashion Week whenever it uh, comes around yeah, again, yeah. because you definitely deserve to be in there. So thank you very much for making time. I really, really appreciate it, Durante. Uh, good luck. Best of luck with everything.